craziest couples ever. I just went through your phone. It, it, it ain't my baby. All, first first of of all, why did you go through my phone? What's going on, guys? Shaq reacts here once again, and the show some wall clips of the craziest couples I can find. Now, like always, my favorite clip will be at the end, guys. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, it is definitely not good either. Basically, we have this guy over here. Apparently, by what he was saying, he got engaged to a woman who he only knew for a week. Now, some people would honestly say getting engaged within three months of knowing a person is way too soon, but one week is absolutely ridiculous. You do not know enough about that person. He's obviously just going off looks here and clearly doesn't know enough about her personality or her personal life. Let me know what you guys think down below, though. The only thing was how soon is too soon? He proposed after a week. Now, it's a little weird. <laughs> it's not hyperbolic when I said I called five people that Sunday and said, unless something goes terribly wrong, I'm marrying this woman. Mm -hmm. And so the only thing was, how soon is too soon? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. he proposed after a week. I mean, uh, what? That was a little weird. I knew very quickly that there was no doing any better than you. And it became clear that she was just such a sweet, lovely, smart, good person who was beautiful and is beautiful. And it was, there was no doing any better. And I'm of the opinion, if you're at a restaurant and you figure out what you want, you put that thing down. Why keep looking? And this sex was actually pretty hilarious. Let me know if you guys count this as cheating or not. Basically, this guy, I guess, is talking to his wife back. He's going out once again. And I guess his wife doesn't like that because she hears a woman in the background. Now, guys, if we were to flip the scenario and make a woman going out, you know, partying and clubbing and hearing guys in the background, we would absolutely be flipping out. So I'm just gonna be flipping out on this guy as well. And I'm gonna count this as cheating on my side. Hey, babe, <laughs> I'm just staying back with my workmates for drinks. Hey, so Mikey, I, um, where are you? Um, One's outside. Hey, Mikey, we're at... Tell that peacock to shut up. You're not, because I have plans tonight, Michael. What do you mean, man? I told you I'm coming back for drinks. So you knew this. I don't know why you're making it a big surprise now. Why don't you go and live with them then? Because every fortnight, it's the same... Michael, no. No and no. Honestly. You know what? Um, I swear to God, watch what I'm going to do. Watch. And don't you dare come back home tonight if you think I'm going to open that door for you. I'm changing the locks. You watch. Tell mine cool to hurry up. Tell her to take you home. And this next one, this guy over here is talking about why women wear too much makeup and how they want a real genuine guy to present themselves in such a fake way. They also are just super cocky for no reason because the moment they take up all that makeup, all of that confidence just goes out the window. What is this? How about you wipe that paint off your face and then see if you still got that same confidence when you talk to me. See, I met this one female lot. I don't know if she was drunk or not, but she kept saying, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch. I'm like, all right, bet. Let's go out. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's have a good time. But leave that shit home. Leave the wig. Leave the makeup. Leave the eyelashes. Leave the eyeliner. Leave all that shit home. Let's go out. Let's have a good time. She wouldn't do it. But I thought you said you was a bad bitch. What you should say is, I got a bad costume on. And I would respect that boy. And now I guess talking more about makeup, we have this guy over here. I guess saw a girl at her birthday party just wearing too much makeup, in my opinion. And at this point, you're just looking like an absolute clown. Like, why do you do this to yourself? I'll tell you one thing. A girl's birthday makeup is crazy. Look at my sister. She thought she ate. Look at her. Bro, look at her. She was feeling herself that day. <laughs> and this next one's girl is absolutely lying. This made us ask to ask where her body count is, and this is what she had to say. She bullshit. Say you lying. Say lying. Say lying. You lying. Yeah. I got, no. I got one body though. You was just a virgin. Now you got one body. <laughs> what? Damn, why you And this next one, this girl definitely sounds super insecure. Basically, she says she never wants to date any pretty boys or guys who just look too good because, well, they just come off as too cocky and they don't care about losing you. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you have a high-valued man. He's not going to be obsessive over you. But yes, this is absolute insecurity because she knows she can easily be replaced by the next best girl. And I guess that's her excuse for just dating down. Actually, I'm turned off by looks. Mm. So if you're, you're like if you're very, pretty, yeah, if you're too pretty, facts. I'm just like, get the fuck away from me. That's yeah. trauma though. See, that's part of the healing 
healing journey. That, that needs, <laughs> nah, bro. I need to fucking fix that reaction. I'm not fixing that. I don't want to be around no pretty boys. Go be a pretty boy somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I don't like pretty boys. You've been hurt. Yeah, I have been hurt. And I don't like pretty boys. But I haven't. Just, it hasn't just been one. I've met a lot of pretty boys. Not that I've dated all of them, but I've met a lot of pretty boys. And they have the same type of energy. energy. Yes. And I don't like that. I want like a real... I don't need you looking in the mirror longer than me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's weird to me. Like, are you gay? <laughs> like, what the fuck's going on? I'm confused. <laughs> you know? And then all the women that try to talk to them, it's annoying. Like, it's like, you could have them. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then when he's fighting with you, he's like thinking like, Bitch, you know what kind of woman I could get? Da -da 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 -da. You should be happy to be with me. And it's like... You can go. Now, I guess about plus-sized women, we have this man over here. Everybody knows who he is. He ends up ripping a lot of plus-sized women in San Antonio. And I guess they want an apology, and he refuses to apologize because that's just his opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that. And they want me to apologize. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. For? for me joking about those big old women down in San Antonio. <laughs> oh, Y'all can write letters to your mama, mama, your daddy, your <laughs> uncle. I'm going to have fun on television. You know that I'm joking around, but if y'all waiting on me to apologize, hell going to oh, freeze. Wait, you go to Churros! Churros on the house! And this next one is actually pretty funny. Basically, this guy decides to get a buzz cut. His girlfriend loves his hair long, but I guess he just wants to go through some villain arc. Maybe he just wants to just change things up. And while this was his girlfriend's reaction, let me know if you guys count this as a red flag. I think it's kind of cute because she's just playing around. And I don't think she's going to break up with him because of this. <laughs> And this next one this is absolutely disappointing. Basically, this woman over here goes around a college campus asking these random women how much they want their men to make. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I showed a previous video of marriage rates declining because women can never find economically satisfied men, you could say, or just men who just don't make enough money and women are literally refusing to marry them. There's going to be a bigger rise in women being single due to the fact that they just want a man who's always rich and there's just not enough of them in the world. Should make per year. I mean, if I'm like dating them, it'd be nice if they were at least making a hundred thousand. Like a million? Two million? Five hundred grand? A lot. We're expensive. Yeah. Mills. Millions. Oh. Um, let me think. Five hundred thousand? Like, do you know like how difficult that is now in this next clip it is correlated to what i just said previously about women just being absolutely delusional because they just want rich men constantly i guess here's another good example this girl sees nothing wrong with her personality or for requesting her first date being at a five-star restaurant i'm not saying it should be somewhere crappy like a burger king like this guy said but for a woman i don't even know all i want to do is try to get to know her not take her out and spend my money even if i don't like her let's be logical about this i'm not trying to only impress you you're also trying to impress me how old are you uh, 28. Let's say I wanted to take you out. How much do you expect me to spend on a first date? Depends where we're going. What's your expectation, though? I don't really have any. So I could hit you up and say, hey, let's go to Burger King and get slushy? No, no, no. No, I mean, at least, like, you know, nice five-star type of restaurant, and then depending on how it goes, depending on how I like you, and that all kind of goes with me even saying yes for a, for a first actual date. So that, that takes a toll. Okay, so a five-star restaurant in Miami, how much is that gonna range? Depends how many drinks you'll be ordering. Average. Um, anywhere from 300 to 800. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. And this next one, this is definitely cheating. I guess this Jamaican guy, if you guys can somewhat make out what he is saying, is saying that if your girlfriend ever goes to Jamaica, break up with her first because she's going to be getting these massages over there. And yes, if a guy touches my girl like this and she allows it, I'm counting this as cheating. There is no way I'm allowing this. Yo, call me toxic if you want. But my girl, let's see if me in a relationship. I love you and I appreciate you. You see the moment you tell me, say, I go to Jamaica on a vacation. I am mentioned to me say I got the rafting. Make sure you know me I break up before you even reach the rafting place. Read between the lines. And they like me too much, and they like can't stop sneezing. That's 
And this next list woman is saying, it's very narcissistic for a man to take control and lead. Thankfully, this guy has a good head on his shoulders and he destroyed her in this conversation. If a woman hates you taking control, making decisions and leading, let her go be with the simp who's just gonna cater to her every need. No. Because I'm a man and I tell you oh my God. what I like. See, oh, this you is a narcissist. narcissistic and y'all don't even see it. So He's taking control and making it about him again. So you don't want a man that's in control. That's what you're saying. So a man that's in control is a narcissist. I think that's the biggest, one of the biggest failures of relationships. Just because your man have structure and he's in order, he knows what he want, he's a narcissist. If he don't see stuff your way. These women be single. And this next one is actually pretty interesting. I did say this in a previous clip of mine. Basically, a lot of women nowadays are saying, I'm never going to act like a wifey to this guy unless he wipes me up because he doesn't deserve it. Unless he treats me correctly and wipes me up. But why are we going to wife you up if you're not even showing us you could be wifey material? Imagine a man is saying, I'm not going to pay for your dates. I'm not going to pay for anything of yours. And I'm not going to provide for you because I'm not your husband. Unless I guess we get married and you cuff me up. It's so stupid. Why are men expected to act like a husband in a boyfriend stage, but you don't feel as though you need to act like a wife in a girlfriend stage until somebody chooses to make you a wife make it make sense if you never displayed qualities of being a wife why would anybody want to make you one it sounds like women just never want to put any effort for us like we feel like we just have to offer minimal effort and that should be significant enough that and the cat should just have it in the bag i don't know about y'all but if i'm choosing to be in a relationship i'm in it to win it do you want dinner baby massage baby Baby, what do you need? Y'all are literally admitting to doing half it and then wondering why you still are not a wife. And they got the audacity to be complaining about why Suzanne's a wife before you. You haven't showed anything. You're doing what any other do. Stand out. And this next one, I don't like this clip at all. I really do feel like this guy is just trying to play the victim as much as possible. He's not a bad looking guy and he is saying he is 26 years old, has been single and I guess it's super lonely for him at this point. Let me just quickly say, if you work on yourself enough, that is so much better for you like hitting the gym and such than making these pointless videos of you desperately wanting attention. Once again, this guy is not a bad looking guy and this is not the first time I've actually seen guys make these kind of videos. Like, man the F up, go work out and fix your life around rather than just complain all day. I'm 26 years old and never had a girlfriend. Today is my birthday, February 12th, and I would really appreciate it if you would all not mention or say to me, happy birthday, because it is not a happy birthday for me. And as a matter of fact, it has not been a happy birthday to me for years of my life now. And this next one is absolutely so sad. Basically, this man over here ended up catching his girlfriend cheating. And he hasn't confronted her about it yet, but he doesn't even want to be around her. And I guess she doesn't even know that she was exposed. In this last clip, this guy is absolutely ripping his wife. He decides to destroy her and just yell at her completely. But just pay attention to the end because there's a huge plot twist. Smoke, I will smoke. If I want to drink, I will drink. If I want to go out, I will go out. Because I'm the one that brings the money in this house. I'm the one with the boss in this house. So if I'm going to go out, you're going to stay here with the kids. You got that? And that's how it is. Good. That's how I'm going to tell him what she did to you. Come on now, dawg. And this next one, I absolutely enjoyed this clip. I did show a lot of girls in this clip that are absolutely gold diggers in my opinion because they just want the highest quality dates and such. But this woman, on the contrary, is actually perfect. She loves long distance relationships. And if a girl doesn't mind driving an hour or two for you, she's definitely super interested and wouldn't do anything stupid to F it up. And clearly she's mature enough to handle a long distance relationship. I'm in love with the long distance dating right now. I really am. I'm in love with the highway drives. I'm in love with the him coming to get me and riding on a highway together. I'm in love with my little mini weekend getaways. I'm in love with the fact that I could be by myself and do my own thing throughout the week. And then on the weekend, you know, play house for a little bit. <laughs> And this next one is absolutely insane, but I guess this girl really loved it. All I'm saying is, if you guys see a cute girl, shoot your shot. You don't lose anything from it, and you have no idea what it can turn into. Oh. Oh. Wait, this isn't what I ordered. What'd you order? I actually wanted your number. I thought you were really attracted. Can you make your number? Yeah, let me hop in the car right now. Right, God, you want to hop in the car? Yeah. I right, hop in the car. Just give me that cookie. Do they call you the Rizzler? 
Now, fun from a perfect clip on the list, guys. We have a woman over here. I guess this man ended up going through his girlfriend's phone and found out something pretty insane. Turns out he was not the father all along. This girl has been lying to him the entire time about, I guess, him raising a kid that wasn't even his to begin with. It was actually her guy best friend. Now, there's so much things going on wrong with this clip. First off, why do you have a guy best friend and why are you letting your wife have a guy best friend? That's like big red flag number one that we always talk about. I don't care how close he is. I don't care how long you've known him. Never let your wife stay with him because it's just a big red flag. And second, Second, I really do hope he can bring this to court so he can get every single dollar he spent on that kid and somewhat sue her for lying the entire time. I just went through your phone and come to find out this ain't even my baby. Like, this, this ain't my baby? What kind of, what is this? What the, what, this ain't my baby? This, this, this your best friend, baby? You so you sleep with your best friend? I don't know what you're talking about. Man, come on, man. I've been taking care of this baby for three, I've been taking care of for three about. years. This ain't, why you, why you lie to me? What are you talking about? I what just happened? went through your phone. It, it, it ain't first my all, baby. First it's of your all, best why friend, did you baby? go through my phone? Like, you just out here violent. Oh, now you cry. You go through my phone and you crying. No. I, why you? Why did you go through my phone? Who does that? Like, that's some You left your phone stuff. open. What? I knew something. I knew something was up. I knew something was up. What, what is know this? What, what is this, Chris? I'm going to tell you like my dad like said. I've been raising you child. I'm the only father. I'm the only father. Be careful what you find. You're going to get what you find. What you talking about? This 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 ain't this, this, this ain't real, man. This, this, what, how you gonna do me what like this? this? Why are you like this? How you gonna lie to me? How you gonna lie to our baby like listen, this? Listen, 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 listen. I knew you were with that you bitch. Like, listen, listen. So I'm gonna tell you what happened. You know you was working a lot and you was real busy and I was lonely and Nicole no, was always no. here and we was drunk. No, so Chris. And there is that typical excuse that we always love to hear. Oh, you never make time for me. Oh, you're always busy at work. And this guy decided to keep me company while you didn't. No, guys, they're just trying to victimize themselves, trying to make it seem like you're in the wrong. But never take this seriously. I've heard it so many times myself. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard it yourselves if you guys ever caught someone cheating. But understand, this has nothing to do with you and it's nothing to do with your personality for working hard. People will cheat if they want to cheat, whether you treat them right or not. And this woman is just absolutely delusional. I feel like this guy should just leave immediately. And we, I, we no, messed Chris, up. Like, I mean, no, we never Chris, look at each other like no, that. Chris, we, like, we never no, been there before. Man. Like, I'm telling you, like, the truth. Like, we never did that. We It was just oh, one man. time. And you know, they can't take care of no kid. You know, you more of a father than him. Why are you, you lie to me like this, though? Why are you lie to me like this? You, Why you lie to our child like this? Not I this. never lied I'm to you. I'm the only father you know. To Come on, I man. never lied to you. I just didn't say Come nothing. Come on, man. It's bull, man. I didn't I, even I do it like that, I didn't that, say Chris. anything. I just didn't, I didn't think you it been was all this time, video. you been sleeping with, you been sleeping with buddy, man. You talking about this your best friend. He Come is on, my man. best friend. But your, your, but your best friend. But we never met. Your best friend putting babies in time. you. But you let your best friend sleep with you. Come on. It was time. I've been, been getting played all these years we've been together. This, this, oh my, my, best like my best friend from school. My best friend from school. Right Come on. now. Why Come on, do you like this? Come on, Chris. This is what What we going to tell our daughter? What we going to tell her? Well, she's tell Destiny. What we going to tell the baby? Come on. You mean to tell me you're going to try to leave me and baby and you father that Amber knows. Amber only knows you. You've been in her life since she was born. You was there when she was born. You held her. You cut the umbilical cord. Everything. Now you going. Now you want to leave. You want to be upset. It don't even make no sense, man. Where he at? Where he at, man? It don't matter where he at. He ain't been laughing in my face all these years, man. I knew something was up. I knew something was up. This is bull. I knew something was up there, sucker, man. I knew something was up there, sucker, man. Well, that's it for you guys. I'm going to watch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.